what the Antichrist within is actually telling you is that you are not responsible for the experiences in your manifested reality. This false belief causes you to cast blame on another or others and not take personal responsibility, for you creating the manifested experience through the influence of the Antichrist within you. Ones will oftentimes argue with this truth and say, well, I cannot control the free will of another who chooses to be angry with me, or steal from me, how can I be responsible for the behavior or actions of another? It is true you are not responsible for the free will behavior of another, but you are responsible for buying into their games and making yourself a victim to it. You choose how you will respond in all circumstances. Remember the law of one? The Antichrist within them is the same Antichrist that you choose to allow to exist within you. The Antichrist is looking for a place to reflect itself, and you choose whether or not you will reflect back the Antichrist or whether you will recognize the trap and instead reflect back the divine love of the Father within which therefore leaves the Antichrist nowhere to roost within your temple of God. Here is a portion of a most wondrous prayer by Yun which is helpful to remember in your daily communion with God and in times when you feel you could be lured into the Antichrist drama of another. Father, let me always allow your will to manifest through me that I stand in judgment of no man and yet wisely judge that which is given in action against your holy presence. Heaven, oh yes, I hear you, if your higher self is God, heaven, then how can you speak and say how to speak to God? Simple, because I, therefore, know, that which God hears and honors, just as so should you. Let us put it this way, if the message of the horse comes directly from that horse's mouth, You see, whether you are aware of it or not, you are unconsciously manifesting all within your scope of reality mostly with your altered ego. The beautiful thing about this truth is that, when it is realized, one can become a conscious creator of a truly balanced manifested experience by surrendering his altered ego to the loving divine God within him and so thereby balancing all of his creation within the laws of God and the creation. For the Antichrist encourages self-punishment. Of course, you know by, now self-punishment is encouraged for past sins, errors. Which is really your altered ego unworthiness, inferiority slash superiority, which we discussed earlier, expressing itself in the following ways, criticism of self and others, greed, lust, jealousy, envy, guilt, shame, self-doubt, depression, helplessness, anger, hatred, resentment, impatience which leads to frustration, illnesses and disease which lead to the death wish of the body. Self-punishment is the effect of the cause of believing the lies of the Antichrist. This may continue, lifetime after lifetime, the poor immortal soul becomes self-locked onto the wheel of reincarnations, heaven, oh yes there is. And if you believe otherwise, so be it, for it is you who are the misinformed. Reincarnation does not necessarily mean that you return to this placement, even, but if you do not believe in reincarnation, re-experience of the soul in manifestation, somewhere, then by deductions taken further, you do not believe in God's heavenly realms, either. You cannot have one without the other, and because this is such a powerful truth, it was deliberately removed from the books you, as humans, would call your holy books in the form of the Holy Bible, as you label it. The fact remains in the ancient teachings and you ones, this day, are facing an enemy who does know of life experience after this one and knows this is but a passing experience. And seeks to punish himself for his perceived sins of the past in hopes of redeeming himself to his creator God. If he just understood the power and importance of forgiveness and release of his past and adhering to the laws set forth by God and the creation, he would be free of his bondage in an instant. Yes, God created cause and effect so that each soul could grow in his awareness and become empowered with the true responsibility he has of his thoughts, words, deeds and actions. In other words, so that he could recognize his power and the importance of responsible God-balanced manifestation. 5. The Antichrist encourages one to break the laws of God and the creation given forth for balance. For example, the law of God which says, Thou shalt not kill. This means in your thoughts as well as your deeds you shall not wish death upon another human being of God. This rule does not mean you cannot defend yourself, if your life is threatened, because that is suicide and also against the laws of God. This also means, that by becoming pregnant, which is being the vehicle of one of God's new creations, and having an abortion because of your irresponsible sexual behavior, it is still murder any way you look at it. Remember personal responsibility. 
There are definitely many possibly undesirable effects to illicit and wanton lustful sexual activity. Pregnancy and disease are two obvious results which do and have occurred more often than not. 6. The Antichrist rules you by your desires. Your desires for those things and possessions of the material world include not only physical manifested things of the material world, such as a television, house, car and money, but also emotional desires such as sexual conquest, marriage, children, friendship, acceptance, recognition and worship. The Antichrist within will keep you always seeking outside yourself for the false promise of fulfillment with more, bigger and better things. And as the poor soul readily jumps on the treadmill of unfulfilling work to make the money he now needs to fulfill his desires, his soul pines away for something more, something just beyond his reach, if only he had more, money, a more prestigious job position, a bigger home, a newer car, more vacations, more, bigger, better. The false promise is never enough and it will not fulfill the cry of the soul to recognize and connect with the immortal spark of his creator within. So the Antichrist will tell you to forget your problems, have some fun, relax, have a few drinks, take some drugs, you deserve it and can afford it now. And before long the dear God fragment is shrouded in the darkness of addiction and misery. So does this mean it is wrong to have things of the material world which you manifested? Not at all, God is abundance in all kingdoms, but the catch is you cannot become attached to things of the material world and to your emotional desires. You are borrowing this wondrous physical body and all of the things of the manifested world will not go with you, when you leave your body in whatever sort of transition you earn. It is only your immortal soul that is real in this journey to oneness within. All else is manifested illusion. However lovely and precious it is, it remains as the props and the backdrops, for the players remaining. This is just one drama of billions fed by the breath of life from God and the creation. And then again, it is really just one drama and we are but co-creators in the play of life unfolding. So the key to releasing yourself from bondage to the material plane is to become detached from it which is to disconnect from your attachments to things and emotional attachments as well. To become detached emotionally one must forgive and release, see number 4, all perceived transgressions upon self and others. This is not to say you have no care or compassion or love, you absolutely do and must have unconditional love of all beings and creations of God, that is their essences as existing as a part of the one, but you must detach from all manifested illusions and emotions which weigh you down in vibration much like wet wool garments on your body. 7. Now there is one more point to ponder, because many of you will and do ask, what difference does it make to the rest of the world, if I cast out the Antichrist within me and the rest of humanity refuses to do so? It does make a difference. Because again, remember the law of one? Humanity and the creations of God are all related as a part of the one. Your manifested world is a direct reflection of what exists within each of you. You each are a part of the pool of mass consciousness, which means you each are responsible for your portion of the whole. For example, a comparison can be made between the pollution which exists in the air, water and ground of this wondrous planet and the pollution of the Antichrist within, you are essentially healing a portion of the disease of mass consciousness. You make a big difference by committing your will to the knowledge and wisdom of truth in God's kingdom. You become a part of the solution for healing the cesspool of darkness in mass consciousness, rather than remaining as a part of the problem. You see, you will then carry the light of truth and wisdom of our Father within you and others are attracted to it, because it is the joy of the spirit of life itself and you become the vehicle for offering it to them.